What's up guys, Sean here. So I've got the DJI Mavic Pro, and they recently did an update. Um, it's probably been a couple weeks now. Um, I meant to do this video when it came out, but I just got the iPhone X and they had some connection issues, so I had to wait for an update for that to, to fix itself. So I'm gonna fly the DJI Mavic Pro up in the air. We're gonna put it in pano mode and take um, a 360 degree panorama. And then I'm gonna take you into the studio and show you how to stitch together using Auto Pano Pro. Um, and then I'm gonna upload it to Kula so you can see, so you can navigate the image and see how cool it is. Um, but it's pretty awesome that they added this to the native software of the DJI Mavic. Um, I've got it in my uh, Typhoon H um, and I've got it in my DJI Spark. So those are the three drones that I have that does this in the native software. Um, this is the first time I've ever done it with the DJI Mavic Pro. I've got videos up on my channel where I did use the DJI Mavic Pro, um, but I did it the long way and the hard way. Um, and up till a couple weeks ago, that's the only way you could do it with, unless you mounted a camera to it. So here we go. Without further ado, we're gonna throw this thing up in the air. Um, I'm gonna take a couple panos and uh, then we're gonna go in the lab and we're gonna stitch it all together. Let's do this, guys. All right, guys, so we're recording the screen. So what I've done is I've switched over to photography mode. And then under the settings, I've gone to the camera. And then I've clicked on photo, gone to pano and sphere mode. So that's what we're set up in right now. Here we go. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. All right, guys, so it's in hover mode. That means that it lifted up off the ground and it found its home spot. So something I want to do is I want to find a good good spot to take a pano from and I can see already that it'd be better if I'm in the grass so we're gonna pull up I think right there is gonna be good all right I'm going to move over so that's in the center. And I'm going to rotate so we're kind of dead even. So I can kind of keep an eye on the pano. So right there, guys. So we're 52 meters off of the ground. All right, that's a good spot. Let's do it. I don't know if you can see this video or not, guys, but it is screaming. It is going so fast. I just saw the blades. It's moving so fast. Look how fast it's going. It's a little windy out, so... It's also really bright, so I'm anxious to see what this does. All right, pano done, guys. landing all right guys so i'm here 
um, in the SD card that I took out of my Mavic. Um, so we've got the DCIM folder. That's always the images. Just about every camera you ever have, all your images are in the DCIM folder. And then um, DJI organizes them as panoramas, which is nice. Um, so these are three different panoramas. Um, and I believe I'm going to use the middle one. So we're going to take these 34 images. We're going to drag it into auto pano. Um, and then we're going to detect. And what auto pano is going to do, you can see in the scroll bar right here, um, it's going to look at all those different images and figure out where they fit in the puzzle. All right, that was quick. So I'm going to go into the edit mode. Um, this is going to pull up our editor. Um, and I know it looks pretty pixelated right now, but it's first it brings it up in a fast render and then it gets more detailed as it goes. So I'm looking at it right now. It's got the horizon correct. Um, we're only missing about this much of the sky. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to come up here to crop and I want to crop it at full sphere and hit the green check mark. And what that does is it gives me my um, two by one image, echo rectangular. This is the right shape for um, a full echo rectangular image. Um, so then I'm going to take, go and take this into Photoshop and I'm going to fix this sky. So we are going to hit the render button and I always change the width to 8,000 um, and that makes it 8,000 by 4,000 in order to upload it to the internet and to work with it easily in Photoshop for this demo I'm gonna strip it down to 8,000 by 4,000 and again that's a 2 to 1 ratio um, and I'm just gonna do it 72 dots per inch um, or yeah 72 dots per inch um, and we're going to throw it on the desktop. This is going to render. All right, so now that we've rendered our file, I'm going to throw it into Photoshop. And as you can see, we're missing the sky right here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get my sky back. So I'm going to grab my darkest blue and then I'm gonna grab kinda of this light white and then as you can see I added another layer I'm gonna grab my gradient tool so we're gonna go from the top hold down the shift key come down to the horizon and let go alright so what that's done is it's given me a good sky I'm going to unlock this layer, put it on top. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to kill this, this level right here. Okay. And then I'm going to come in here, my eraser, and I've got it set to 1400 pixels as a size and the hardness is zero. And what that does, is it makes it kind of fuzzy. So it's a really good blending. So I can come in here and I can paint happy little sky. Yeah, there's my happy little sky. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to check our seam. Okay, so the next step we need to do, guys, we need to make this one layer. So I'm going to right click on this one and I'm going to merge down to create one layer. And this layer is selected. Make sure that layer is selected and you go to a 3D Spherical panorama, new panorama layer from selected layer. You're going to go into 3D workspace, yay. All right, so now we have our echo rectangular. And Photoshop kind of works backwards when you're moving the mouse, but check it out, guys. So there's me. There's one little issue right there with the seam, and I'm definitely going to fix this seam because this is like the focal um, 
focal part of the image. This is what the ground right underneath the drone is the most important part. Something that's not as important is the sky, but we got to find our scene. Check that out, guys. That's the only thing we messed up. All right, so that's easy. We're going to come in here and uh, we're going to hit our stamp tool. We're going to grab the sky from here. Problem averted. Reverted. Inverted. Anyway, we got rid of the scene. So, yeah. So now, what's cool about this in 3D mode is you can you can edit this image without messing up the seam. We just need to fix this little sidewalk. Oh, there's some something going on. Ooh, yeah. Now that I'm in here, there's some issues going on here. Not too many, but this one definitely needs to fix. We need to fix. So we're going to come in here, grab my stamp tool, um, and I'm going to bring it down to like, that's good. So we brought it down to 252. All right. So we used a fuzzy brush. So now, since we used a fuzzy, fuzzy brush, guys, it blends really, really well. We're going to merge that down so it adds it to the layer. By the time we get out here and we look down, um, if you know where the imperfections were, then you're going to always look at that. But if you didn't know where the imperfection was, then you wouldn't see it. So now to export it, you go to 3D, Spherical Panorama, Export Panorama. Um, we're going to export it to my desktop. Um, we're just going to call it JI Mavic Sphere. Alright guys, so I've just uploaded this to Kula. I want to put a link in the description so you can go over and um, see what this apartment complex look, looks like from the air. Um, I thought this was kind of a cool shot. So we've got, um, we've got this kind of curved road right here. We've got a roundabout. This road over here curves around. Then you've got this apartment building that's got some some cool geometry going on. You've got some office buildings back here, neighborhoods in the background. Then you've got this weird looking pool, which is pretty cool, and then a pond. So this image has a lot going on. And one of the things Kula does, um, it has an automatic planet mode. So I just hit the, I'm going to enable the tiny planet, and I'm going to use the tiny planet as my cover because I think they're a lot more interesting. Um, I'm going to change my heading. I kind of like that. I like doing things at an angle. Um, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to bring it up here. And guys, that's beautiful. I really like the browns here. Like, so I think fall is kind of hard to get good images. Um, especially from the sky because everything's kind of dead. But I love the greens going on here. I love the browns. There's some bright blues going on. Um, I probably could have adjusted this, the um, exposure a little bit so that there's a little bit more contrast going on here. But overall, I think this turned out really, really well. There it is, guys. So 
Oh, something else, you can take this image, take this and change your heading. So that's it guys, this will be in the, in the description. All right guys, so that was a DJI Mavic Pro using pano mode, sphere mode, to uh, take a 360 degree image. So if you like these videos, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Um, and it helps for my uh, self-esteem if you like me and like this video. So peace out guys.